Hey everyone, it's Will from Scooter Ready. Today I'm going to walk you through all the features of the Bosch Purion system. You're going to want to check this out. So go grab a coffee or your favorite beverage. Sit back, relax as I walk you through all the modes. Stay tuned. All right, so now that you have your beverage, let's go through the features of the Bosch Purion system. So let's go ahead and turn the computer on simply by pushing the button located on the top. That is your on off button. Give it about two to three seconds and your screen will appear. You'll notice up on the top that we have our speed indicator followed by our level of assist and by the state of charge of the battery. So currently we're in the off mode, so no electric assist and we have almost 80 to 100% state of charge in the battery. Each one of these bars counts for about 20%. As you start using your bike, you will notice that these bars will eventually start to disappear, which indicates that your battery is being depleted. Now to increase your level of assist is really straightforward. You're going to have a plus button and to decrease your level of assist, you have a minus button. Currently we're on the off mode, which means that there is no electric assist whatsoever. This is hundred percent manual. This will be hundred percent you pedaling the bike with no electric assist. Now, since you bought an electric bike, you're probably going to want to be on one of those electric assists because between you and I, they're a lot of fun. Let's get into it. Let's go ahead and push the plus button and you will notice that your display turns into eco. That is your first level of assist. Now the power output for eco will be dependent on what drive system came equipped with your bike. Refer to your owner's manual to determine which motor is equipped on your bike and the total output of the drive unit based on what level of assist you have on your bike. So eco is the first mode. We can go ahead and push plus. This would be tour. This is the second mode. We have a third mode called sport or EMTB mode in the case of this bicycle and turbo, which is the highest level of assist. Now let me back down into EMTB mode and explain what that is. Now, if your bike is equipped with the Bosch performance series or the performance CCX, your system may be activated into EMTB mode. EMTB mode essentially automatically determines whether you should be on level two, three or four automatically. So the computer is actually thinking on your behalf and optimizing the performance of the bicycle based on the type of riding that you're doing. Now, if your bike is equipped with the Bosch Active or Active Plus system, this feature is not available. Now, if you do have the Bosch Performance Series or Bosch Performance Series CX, it could be simply that your dealer has not activated this for you. And this can be done by bringing your bike into the shop and having the software upgrade done to your bike to activate this feature. Now, on some of the older models, this feature may not be available. So consult your dealer, your owner's manual, or by all means, contact Scooter Ready if you purchase a bike from us and we'd be more than happy to help you out and determine whether this mode is available on your bike. Now let's go scan through the other modes. Now, if I were to push the minus button in for a couple seconds, this takes me out of pedal assist mode and brings me to the trip computer. Now the trip computer will give me an idea of how much mileage I've done since my last reset. This is great for those longer rides where you want to know how many kilometers or miles that you've done in a day. As this increases and you finish your ride and you want to reset this back to zero, it's really super easy. Simply just push the plus and minus at the same time and this will reset it back to zero. Really easy. If I go ahead and push minus once more, I'm going to go to the next mode, which is called total. For lack of a better term, it's your odometer reading. So this is the total mileage that the bike has seen since it was manufactured. In this case, one kilometer since it's a brand new bike. You can never do a reset on this. It's a total accumulation of the mileage since the bike was manufactured. Now the next mode is one of my favorites. If I go ahead and push minus again, I'm in now in range. What's really nice about range is that it's able to give you an estimate about how far you can go based on the current remaining battery power and what level of assist you're in. In this case, I have a little line and that's because I am currently in the off mode. If I were to increase my level of assist, assuming eco, it'll give me an estimated range of 86 kilometers. And that's based on how much energy is in the battery. If I start increasing my level of assist, let's go to turbo. You'll notice that that range estimate drops off significantly. And that's simply because the motor is now working harder. Now, as you cycle, you're probably going to be using different levels of assist continuously throughout your ride. Well, what's really nice about the Bosch system is that every 200 meters or about five times per kilometer, it's going to recalibrate itself and give you a new estimate. So you'll find that after riding, it's very accurate and that it's always going to continuously give you a true indicator about how far you can go before the battery is completely empty. This is particularly handy on those longer rides where you want to make sure you don't run out of battery power throughout the ride. 
And let's move on to the next level. Simply push into the minus button again. And once again, this brings us to our different levels of assist. All right, what's really neat about this bike is it's also equipped with what we call walk assist. Now walk assist is probably one of the single most popular and most demanded features on our electric bikes. And these more modern bikes are equipped with that. If your bike isn't equipped with the walk assist feature, simply contact your local dealer or refer to your owner's manual to see if this can be activated with your model year of drive unit. Now, if I'm in the off mode, if I go ahead and push this button down below, it will not work. The reason why it won't work is because we're in the off mode. Simply just choose any one of the electric assist modes, either eco through turbo, doesn't make a difference which one you're in, and you'll be able to activate this feature. Simply go ahead and push the bottom button in once, once below, and you'll see that it says walk and then plus, but it disappears fairly quickly. So what it's telling you is you have to repeat this process very quickly. So go ahead and push walk and then go ahead and push plus and the bike will propel itself forward. A really, really nice feature. As soon as you remove your finger from the display, the bike will cease to operate. And then you just simply have to repeat the process in order to reactivate the walk assist mode. Now, people ask, where would I use walk assist mode? Well, walk assist mode would be great on those inclines where you're walking beside your bike. Perhaps you have panniers or a trailer behind your bike. And instead of having to push your bike upwards, you're able to push this walk assist button and the bike will move itself forward. A really neat feature. To turn on your lights is really easy. Simply go ahead and push the plus button in for three seconds and you will notice this little icon that appears. Now this is assuming that your bike is equipped with lights and that it's been activated from your dealer. Now when I say activated lights, these have to be integrated into the drive system. To turn off your lights, it's fairly straightforward. Simply just push the plus button and the lights will turn themselves off. If ever in the future when you're riding, you notice that there's a little icon with a wrench on it. Have no worries, there's nothing wrong with your bike. It's simply for your convenience to showing that your bike is due for maintenance. So make arrangements with your local Bosch authorized retailer to have your bike brought in for your service work. Only your Bosch dealer is able to activate the system and remove that icon for maintenance. All right, we get to ask this quite a bit. There's actually a little micro USB port on the side of this display, and I also see that on forums quite a bit as well. This micro USB board is used only for diagnostics mode purposes. And so this is where your Bosch dealer would able to plug in the Bosch software and pull out information about your drive unit and complete software updates to your system. This is not a charging port, so it's not able to charge any of your mobile devices. Also keep in mind that consumers are not able to activate or plug this into any of their household computers in order to get information. This is simply for diagnostic purposes from your local Bosch dealer. All right, if you ever get an information up on your display that says low bat, simply that means that your battery is not low on your bike, but rather that the two CR2016 lithium ion batteries, these button cell batteries within the Bosch Purion system are required to be replaced. To access that, simply undo the screw on the bottom of the display, remove your display, flip it upside down, and you will notice that there will be a cap. To open it, simply just use a quarter or other coin, twist, remove, and replace the lithium batteries. These are CR2016 batteries that are available at any pharmacy or big box store. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And what's been in my mind since I created this video today, I was wondering, at the beginning of the video, you guys were making beverages. You got to leave a comment down below. I'm really curious. What did you guys drink during my video? Really curious. Was it a cup of joe? Favorite beverage? Don't tell me it was a cocktail. Don't, don't even go there. Don't even tell me it was a cocktail. Don't, don't, don't even bother. Well, yeah, tell me. Anyway, tell me. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell to be notified of some awesome upcoming videos that we have coming this season. You want to have that bell clip because you're not going to know when we have new stuff. You're really not. So click it and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. And if you have any other questions or if you're able to provide feedback on what kind of content we can create and that is important to you guys, bam, leave them in the comments below. We read everything and we'd love to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Take care and most importantly, ride safe.